Right. Uh, we're on to plan Z now, I think. <laughs> no, no plans left. Not much for us to say here, because we can't add anything to this. I always think it's the job when we're talking about television pictures to add things. There's nothing to add here, Bruce, is there? This is just outstanding. We've got another back marker pulled out of the way immediately. That was really, really well done by you and Sergison. So... Not always easy for them to look in their mirrors. In fact, doing their own job, but coming down the mirror bow, he must have seen the flash of a, a red car and a black car behind him, and he knew they were coming, kept out of the way before the station hairpin. Well done, you and Sargis. Yeah, you have to say this doesn't really need commentary. It's just so good. It's been at least twice when I've realised I perhaps should have been seeing something, and I'm just absolutely enthralled with this. I, I am transported back to my early teens. This is absolutely why I became a big motorsport and particularly a Formula One fan. Look, John, if you were, if you obviously you're a big football fan as well, if you watch the match from the 70s, I'm not talking about the 1973 Cup final, but what I am talking about is you go back and the, the crowds would look a certain way, the players would play in a certain way, the equipment was... Oh, he's hit him! He's hit him! And into the wall! No. Werner, right front! Damage, right rear damage on Alessi's car. Now, was there a little stumble there from Alessi that caused that? It just seemed maybe there was a cough or a splutter. And Alessi goes into the wall with the right rear. Now, is there any damage on the Lotus? Because uh, Right right front wing. Right front wing, OK. So this suddenly... Right front wing, interestingly. So yeah. it must have wiped across from right to left. What we need is the shot coming out of. Let's yeah. have a look. Virage, Anthony No, the Lotus is good. Great exit, uh, Bruce. Well, there's there's black marks on the road as if Alessi had spun the wheels up. We've already got a puncture, but that's probably from hitting the wall. That was what from would suggest? The wall. Well, that's a that's a strange one. I, I my first, I have to say, my first reaction was that there'd been contact. But having now seen it from behind, I'm not so sure. And what was the black marks behind the Ferrari? There's definitely a wee bit of damage to the nose of, on the right-hand side of the nose of Werner's car. Well, that, I think, was probably in avoidance, trying to, trying to go past it. But I'm just wondering if something broke on Alessi's car to uh, cause it to suddenly stop accelerating. Well, yeah, maybe it, it went right. right. Did he miss a gear or something? Well, quite possibly. Yeah. That's well, probably the most likely. The marks, the black black marks, yeah. Right where Marco's gone by. by. They've got rid of that car. Oh, no, there it is. Much further down. Now, what we didn't quite see was John just waving or gesticulating as he went past he, the body language, his shoulders are down for Jean. He would have loved to have had a win you know, on a racing return, but to do so here in a Ferrari would have ticked many, many more boxes. But the driver we thought might win this race on pole by nearly two seconds, fought so hard, but could not get past the Lacey until a lap and a half ago. Marco Werner heading for victory. His Lotus a little bit bent, which is that nose going to drop off. Let's have another look What do you reckon behind. here, guys? Lacey's going to the wall anyway. Yeah, there's a touch. Yeah, yeah so a touch. definitely a touch. Yeah, good, great work by our replay team. 